Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this training video, I will cover the first module of Learning Path 3, Mitigate Threats Using Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. In this video, you will learn about the Protect Against Threats with Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint, the introduction of the Defender 4 Endpoint, and how to onboard the devices. The module covered in this video is protect against threats with Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint and the key topics covered in this module are define the capabilities of Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint, describe how to hunt threats with, within your network, explain how Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint can remediate the risks in your environment. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please do subscribe it for future updates. Without any further ado, let's get started. The Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is an EDR solution. EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Respond. This is a comprehensive security solution that is designed to protect the devices like the PCs, laptops, and the mobile phones. This protects these devices from cyber threats. It helps detect, investigate, and respond to attack in near real time. The key features of the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint are the threat detection. This identifies the malicious activities like any malware or ransomware attack. The attack prevention, it can block the harmful actions before they cause any damage. The endpoint investigation allows the security teams to analyze what happened during an attack. Automated response takes the quick actions like isolating a device to limit the damage. In a nutshell, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint helps the businesses safeguarding their devices from cyber threats and respond to attacks efficiently. If I talk about onboarding of these devices, this can be done in several ways. As you see this image on the right, this shows you that the onboarding of these devices can be through the Intune enrollment. The Intune is the mobile device management solution offered by Microsoft. Whereas, in case you are using on-premises, then you can use the Microsoft Configuration Manager, formerly known as System Center Configuration Manager, with co-management. You also can use the group policies or scripts to onboard these devices. Once the devices are onboarded, then the devices can be detected for or analyzed for any threats or vulnerabilities. We can do the threat and vulnerability management, attack surface reduction rules we can specify to mitigate the attack surface, endpoint detection and response, the EDR capabilities, investigation and remediation. The devices can be joined to the Entra ID, which was formal, formerly known as Azure Active Directory. And these devices can be either Entra ID join or registered or the co-management we can do by synchronizing the devices in a hybrid model. Well, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint can detect a malicious payload by analyzing the suspicious files, behaviors, and the network activities on the devices. It uses the advanced threat intelligence and the real-time machine learning to identify the potential threats. As you see in this diagram here, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint can detect these malicious payloads, be it the USB drive or the any email or file that carries some malwares or cyber threats. It can take necessary actions also by automating the remediation. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides the advanced detection and response capabilities to identify and respond to attack in near real time. When a threat is detected, the alerts are generated and grouped into the incidents. These incidents allow the analysts to investigate and respond more efficiently. It uses the continuous behavioral telemetry, including the processes, network, kernel, memory, and file system data to detect and analyze the threats based on an assumed breach mindset. It ensures the comprehensive protection and rapid response. Well, this brings to the end of this module. In the next video, we will discuss about the deployment of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Environment. 
where we will discuss the creating Microsoft Defender for Endpoint environment, onboarding the devices to be monitored through the Defender for Endpoint and configuring the Defender for Endpoint environment settings.